Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Way Slam reviewer, and I'm here to review Dakra, and this is the first horror film out of Tunisia. So, congrats, Tunisia. Now you get to join in the lovely party of, are we going to make a cheap horror film, or are we going to go really, really creepy and really alienate people? So, the idea of this film, Dakra, is focusing on the investigation of a trio of journalists and students who are looking into witchcraft inside this mysterious town that has a bunch of sinister rituals and apparently is inspired by true events. So, lovely. And this is from writer-director Abdelhamid Boknak. And this film is close to two hours, really takes its time, and there's definitely moments in the film where it lags and lost some of my interest. But there's also moments in this film where this gets incredibly creepy and unnerving, and there's just this sinister atmosphere around it. And there's particular shots throughout this film that are really inspired. The cinematography is really top-notch, from Hatim Nekki, and you have the composer with the soundtrack here, Rashid Humawi, and it just helps create this atmosphere around the film where you have these great visuals, really impressive camera work, and that's engrossing and unnerving, and you have these moments where there's one particular moment of them meeting this character in an asylum, she's all in shadows, building that tension. Is there something deformed about her? There's something raw off about her, and she's just sitting in the shadows, and as you closely and slowly get closer, really starting to build that tension. There's one particular shot of a bunch of figures out in the center of this village, just by one particular light and these haunting specters all stand there, really eerie. You know this place is bad when there's a whole bunch of black goats everywhere. I'm surprised one of them didn't ask if we wanted to live our lives deliciously. Um, but this film focuses on these witches, these cannibal witches. There's definitely some very graphic, uncomfortable moments in the film. Uh, one particular one is them chowing down on a bunch of raw meat and just like disgusting and unnerving all at the same time. But the scariest thing is this one little girl who's in this town who they catch like chomping on something from behind and this beautiful cam camera framing just builds the tension of that first interaction then when she turns around just like creepy look on her face and it's just like nope we're good goodbye I'm done. I'm done here. And you have a lot of creepy moments with this girl, with these witches, and just as the tension is building throughout the film. And you have Yasmin Dimasi, who plays Yasmin, our main character. There's definitely moments where she might be overacting a bit, and it could take you out of the film a little bit. But in general, these are committed performances. Um, some of them are a bit over the top, but, you know, they're entertaining enough. But really, this the filmmaking is really impressive, the visuals are really impressive, even if, say, some of the acting and some of the characters don't have as much depth and maybe there's some moments that do slow down a lot, this is definitely has enough merit in this film to warrant wanting to check this film out. It's a nice first step forward for Tunisia into the horror genre. This isn't a great film. And I don't think I would say it's a really, really good film. It's a good, low and a good film because it has the technical aspects, it has those pieces, but it's lacking in some areas. And there's definitely some twists here, and maybe some of them might surprise you. And the ending, I don't know how satisfying it was in terms of the setup of the film, but you know, it's kind of hard. it's the hardest thing is to stick the landing of a film, right? So it might be lacking in some areas, but it definitely delivers on that atmosphere and that unnerving nature about this film. So those are definitely worth experiencing. And especially if you're a horror fan, this one's definitely worth a watch. But those are my thoughts on 
Duck Ron. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, Dakra, let me know what you think, and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.